Shit, slow as Mr. Lubin here, you know, a little bit of extracurricular activity slow here on the sidelines. Uh, how does that, how does that amp you up you right here? I knew it was coming. I, I know what type of people that's in my, in my entourage, and I know he got the same type of people in his, his entourage, so I knew they were, you know, class heads once they met. Yeah. How, how, was that distracting when you were up there or anything? Nah, it was actually entertaining. That was a press conference, you know. Everybody went up there and didn't say much, you know, we're all just you know, losing weight, getting ready to make weight tomorrow, and ready to fight. So, you know. I'm not, I'm not really um, into all the drama and the talking. I let my hands do the talking on Saturday night. How much hype does it give you knowing that you have this type of backing here at the Barclay Center? I mean, you know, I love Brooklyn. It's my second home. You know, um, people in New York, you know, my, my mother actually lives here. So, you know, I definitely got, you know, a lot of family here, a lot of support. But, that, you know, that, that doesn't really mean much. You know, it's just definitely motivation, but it don't mean much when it's just me and my opponent in the ring. Yeah. Do you don't think it's a distraction at all when you're over there and then worried about your, your friends? Obviously, knowing that you nah, have a big nah. fight coming up. I got up. tunnel vision. I got tunnel vision. I know I just got to go in there and take care of business. I got one task at hand. And what do you have to do to accomplish that task? Just stay, stay composed like I am. You know, stay composed and, you know, go into the ring and just, you know, execute the game plan the right way. Yeah. All right. Best of luck Saturday night. Thank you.